Are you feeling small? Are you feeling lame? Got no words at all to name your pain. You're full of stress, your life's a flame. It's all a mess, going insane. And something's wrong in your domain. Don't know where you're going, where you came. You need a little something to help your brain. Are you shaking your head? It's all a shame. Do you sleep at night? Stay up late. You got a headache? Are you feeling drained? Everybody needs a little help someday. Hear me say it's time for untamed. Are you feeling small? Are you feeling lame? Got no words at all to name your pain. Full of stress, your life's a flame. It's all a mess, going insane. And something's wrong in your domain. Don't know where you're going, where you came. Need a little something to help your brain. Are you shaking your head? It's all a shame. Do you sleep at night? Stay up late. Got a headache? Are you feeling drained? Everybody needs a little help someday. Just hear me say it's time for untamed. everybody we're back episode number two we're super excited to be here recording again at the disruption network right d absolutely so we're gonna talk a little bit and then we have a really cool guest coming on in a little bit lisa briggs from whitesboro fit body boot camp is going to be here with us so we're gonna talk to her in a little bit but we're gonna just start out with some uh events upcoming in december so yeah. let's thank our sponsors oh, yeah, first our sponsors. lisa is one of them that's yeah. what reminded me I'll so whitesboro you. fit body boot camp mm -hmm. um it's, it's like 30 minute quick high intensity workout great to kind of kick off your holiday your new year's resolution yeah, with true. you know not a whole lot of time invested but so much to gain from that. Actually, getting started before the holiday would be the best thing. Oh, absolutely. Because then you're not going crazy. With, and you don't you have know. the guilt when you eat the food and yeah. all of that. Right. And you fit in the holiday clothes. Yeah, so check out their website. The holiday bathrobe, in my case. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, who else do we have? Renovation Aesthetics and Wellness. Uh, always great things happening there. Always Great deals from the manufacturers and from Andrea. So a lot of great promos. Make sure to follow her so that you don't miss out. Like yesterday, it was buy a $100 gift card, get $150 back from the company. So um, definitely want to take advantage of anything if you're looking to get some facial rejuvenation, infusion therapy, ketamine therapy, laser, so many things happening there. And then our last sponsor who joined us this past week is Nama Let It Go, Allison Kachati. She has the most beautiful space to do aerial yoga. Um, my daughter, she goes there twice a week. She was there last night doing her little kid's aerial, and she's so good at it. I'm just so jealous every time I go because I'm like, I want to be here. But I oh, always yeah, have Angelina's her. a little whiz. She was yeah, like on the flipping around, going and nuts, and it, everything. It was in my story. Awesome. Oh no, I put it. It, it is in the group if you yeah. want to check it out and yeah, see yeah. what's offered for kids. Um, there's similar classes for adults, core, bungee fitness. There's going to be a sound healing there, December December thirteenth. Yep. So it's like singing bowls, and you basically, I think yeah. you're just going to kind of chill out in the silks. It's $40, and yeah, they just walk you through, like, you know, getting into the silks and the sound bath will be great. So yeah. it's like singing bowls. So, you know, we talked a lot about sound healing last time. So if you want to go back and listen to the previous episode, if you didn't hear it, you know, we do talk about it. We'll talk more about it as well. I would well, love to be getting that in the silks because I'm never comfortable it's laying like on the floor. It's like levitating. It's like literally yeah. like levitating and meditating at the same time. Like, yeah. how cool is that? Like, yeah. and then your body feels so supported. Mm -hmm. I loved when I went there because I felt like, it was a restorative class that I took. And like the more I just kind of like let go and like trusted the silks to like hold me and, you know, just surrender oh, kind great. to it. It was great. And then this, yeah. they, we did this like neck. I think I talked about it last time, but it was great. I can't wait to go back. Yeah, we'll have to uh, work it into our, I think Wednesdays and Thursdays, there's a lot of classes well, We're going to try adults. to get Allison in here, too. To oh, definitely. To yeah, yeah, for sure. I'd love to see that. And then she goes, Angelina also goes to Olga at Nama Let It Go on Fridays for the Flexibility for Dancers class. And I heard that maybe they're going to be doing one for adults. So I'll have to oh, find out more fun. tomorrow when she's there and see what's in the works for that. Because I know a few people that would like to get more flexibility mm -hmm. and, you know, be able to do some things that we thought that we couldn't do anymore. So that would be great. 
So cool. Let's yeah. run through a couple of things that are going on at Roots. So there is a men's spiritual yes. group. So this will be like the second time. Actually, what's his name again? Kevin Col Colitico. Or okay, so Kevin, we're trying to try to Forgive get him Forgive me, on here Kevin. Too. I cannot say your name. Aww. I don't know. I haven't met him, so yeah. I don't know. But th they've done one men's circle already, and yeah. I heard it went really well. It's a great way for men to find support to be able to share their feelings, get feedback from other guys, really start to dig into some of the spiritual issues that maybe they don't feel comfortable or that there's a platform for around here. Um, so I am I know they, him and Colleen worked on this for months to get this going. So yeah. it's, it's really November exciting. November 4th or December 4th is December the next 4th one. November 4th is the next one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so that's, that's happening. And then the, we have Somatic Breathwork Journey again with Sally on December 10th. That's Sunday at 11. So if you're interested in that, that's those are the two special events coming up there. But we're always sharing on our page. So if you have an event that you want us to oh, highlight. Please. We want to know what's going on because yeah. we can only be in so many places right. looking at stuff. Go ahead and share I'm it to our page. too busy looking at memes. <laughs> I know, right? I can't stop. Two hours of meme sending. <laughs> Dina and I literally, I looked down at my like four, four memes from, from, from Dina. Oh my God. That and the reels, you know? I, oh God. Uh, so addicting. the energy feels a little lighter, don't you think, Dina? Oh, Since Saturn is uh, yeah. direct. I definitely, when I read that, I'm like, maybe that was what happened. Mm -hmm. You know, first I thought, well, maybe it was just cancer season, but then it didn't stop. So Right, well, Scorpio season is what we, we are in, kind of, right Yeah, now. well, I'm yeah. saying I felt like crap since <laughs> cancer since, season oh, in July. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was Saturn the whole time. Well, Saturn's been in retrograde. Pisces. Yeah, so Saturn's so, been hanging out in Pisces. Yeah. At, it's at zero degrees right now. Hopefully it gets to my moon eventually and moves on because my moon... Last time it's been just been hanging out. Just the chilling. disciplinarian. So Saturn's kind of like responsibilities and this heavy weighted stuff. You know, I yeah. feel like really, I do feel kind of like I'm all these responsibilities are kind of hovering over me. And it's like I have all these things that I need to do or I have to get done, you know, and then all the things that I want to do are just kind of getting brushed oh, aside. Oh, I know. And it doesn't help with the holidays coming because it's just more on mom's, yeah. dad's. Yeah, we're getting not we're kids. Getting. <laughs> they get a vacation out of it too. Yeah. So then Mercury is moving into your sign, and so it's out of Scorpio. I think it's in Scorpio a little like today, but yeah. this is months from now. So I forgot. We probably should talk about December or uh, November, end of month, November. So we'll be Mercury will be in Sag when you listen to this. Sag season, we will be in. Yeah, Venus is moving into Libra, which is good. So we'll find some balance and harmony in our relationships, hopefully. And the moon right now is in Libra, too. I like Libra yeah. energy. Yeah. Yeah. Angelina's a Libra. Is she? And I see that. She always is finding the balance and Aww, trying she's very to balancing. be the mediator. Yeah, she can balance. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, cool. Yeah. So she's a, a Libra sun. Do you know what her rising sign is? Now I got to look um, on her birth certificate. Well, if you're interested in more about astrology, you can reach out to me. You know, I do do some little, you know, a little astrology here and there, but I can show you how to look at your chart. I was actually thinking about doing like a workshop, you know, coming up about just like kind of astrology 101. Like, what do you look at? Like, what do the houses mean? What are the polarities it's, that they have? It's super helpful to know yeah. all that, mm -hmm. especially when you're, you know, feeling crappy. At least you can look at what's going on in the sky and say, all right, well, that explains it. Right, that makes a lot you know. of sense. Yeah. And then if that doesn't explain it, maybe there are solar, solar flares. There could be solar flares or there just could be, you know, I mean, the thing is, is that like they're just, I think we, we take on a lot of responsibility for the way that we're feeling when energetically it could just be around us. It could be someone in the room sure. with us. It could be, you know, something. Yeah. And even in the food that we eat, I mean, if we're not like Absolutely. clearing our food yeah. and, you know, sending Energize it. your food, yeah. give it Reiki and, um, you know, smudge at all times or, you know. Oh, yeah. You will sound. sound. <laughs> Order's ready. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> clear the yeah. air. Clear the air. You know, it doesn't take a lot. It doesn't take an exorcism and, does, you know, a wizard to come through and. No, I love using Clear my chimes, energy. anything. You can use your hands. You can just go around and clap. Mm -hmm. Like, literally. Yep. Just get the energy cleared, move it around. Like, I have, you know, <laughs> some different practices. But Yesterday, I was doing, um, I think I was, oh, I was talking into my cacao. 
Yeah. <laughs> and Angelina was in bed. She was making fun of me. She was. <laughs> She's like, why nice. are you doing that? Why are you talking to your drink? And, I, and yeah. I was trying to explain to her. She's like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, you're speaking your intentions into it. <laughs> it's so right? funny. Yeah, she's a Because sometimes she gets right into it, she's but so she was magic. not having it last night. Yeah. It was hysterical. That's funny. So I felt better. What else with the astrology? Anything else we should mention? I don't even know. Oh, we are. Um, well, the solstice will be shortly after. Right, December. I don't know. Maybe we'll have an event or something. Yeah, we'll maybe. Have to, uh, we'll have to see how we're feeling. Well, we're going to be doing an event. We're definitely doing the gong and uh, massage. Yeah. So we just have to put a date on the calendar, and we'll let you guys know when it's coming up. It'll be sometime in December. It'll be, like, light body work. I'll play the gong. Um, I'm learning like so much about the gong. I love using all the different types of mallets and making yes. all the different noises. I've been doing a meditation with it almost every day. I'll set the timers. I will, the other day I did breath work first and then I just kind of sat in front of the gong, you know, and I'll chant sometimes into the gong too. And the cool thing is, is that when you chant, the gong has so many vibrations and sounds that it will actually ring. Like just from the sound of my That's voice. So cool. Yeah. Just from the sound of my voice, the gong starts to like vibrate and it starts making noise yeah, from across the room, like literally. So that's like the cool thing about like we were, I think we yeah. talked about that the two bowls. Like if you have two of the same singing bowl and one is here and one is over there and you start playing this bowl, that bowl will start to ring. It's called sympathetic resonance. Yeah. So you start res you just start vibrating at the frequency of the things that you're around. And we talked about this before. Like so if you're you know in a place where you're around someone all the time that maybe ha doesn't have the best energetic frequency, you know, you can start to adjust to their frequency. So going to something like a gong bath or listening to binaural beats or any sort of sound frequency, I mean, it's so cool. I play them all the time. Yeah. Actually, Trina, so yesterday I went to for yeah. a massage at Trina's, and we're going to have her on too. Um, she used the, the Jupiter Bowl on me. Yeah. I think so it's a Jupiter, right? That's made out of brass. It, I believe. Yeah. So she like put it like literally like right mm -hmm. on me. I actually I was face down first and it was the best because I it brought this like neutral energy to, you know, we're good friends, Trina and I, and we, we, you know, I go to her for a massage and we're like this thing and that thing and da, 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 da. And, you know, and our energy starts to like kind of get like worked up. But when she like laid me down and she just did the bowl, like it just created this like neutral energy and we both started to kind of like resonate not kind of like we did <laughs> you know start to resonate at the same frequency as what the bowl was vibrating at and it just brought this really cool vibe I mean it dropped me down into relaxation like really quickly yeah yeah it got me ready you know because sometimes I I mean I usually book 90 minutes for a massage anyway unless I have something going on but even with 90 minutes it still takes me like five, 10, 15 minutes sometimes oh, to sure. like relax. And then I was like, not when she was like working on part of my body, I would, I would ask, I would tell that part of my body to just relax. Like I haven't been that relaxed. I feel like in a before, during a massage, right? Like ever, you know, usually she's got to work out the knots. Like she's oh, just sure. like, you know, she's working really hard they on me, but she's falling she out. Uh, yes. That's nice. It was awesome. And she does so many cool things. She does a lot of the same stuff that you do. Yeah. You know, but not quite the same. You know, I mean, she's starting to do um, the sound stuff, but. Yeah, she wants yeah. to start a little band. Yeah, we can do so, a band. Yeah, maybe when we come on. Why we'll, do you tell I'll them about her your instrument bowls. that you got? Oh, God. No, not the, the didgeridoo. didgeridoo. Not the didgeridoo. <laughs> We're going to bring that in, though, and see I if we know. can get Z back over oh here to God, try it out awful. again. Yeah, so when I was, I was reading um, a David Elliott book when I was studying the breath work that I think we talked about last time. Yeah. One of the things he said he does in the sessions was plays the didgeridoo. So I was like, oh, so you just blow it like a horn. I'm going to get one of those. Took forever to come. And it was it's like the hardest thing in the world to play. And I, I, some of you might have seen my story. Well, I have <laughs> the long it. version. Jelaine on got several long versions <laughs> oh my of God. me being I'm horrible. I'm people. I'm like, look at I her. know. I walk by it every day, and I'm like, not today. It's no. not happening. No, but I was talking about the Shruti the, box. The Shruti box? Yeah. Oh, God. Yes. This um, One of the uh, 
facilitators. You gotta bring that in. Yeah, Shoot. I love that. Yeah. So one of the facilitators at the Peru retreat I went to, she kept playing it, and it's just like, it's like, um, I don't know, it sounds like an accordion, so it's or like a church harmonium. organ. Yeah. yeah. So even it's a harmonium without the keys. Right. Exactly. Basically. Yeah. So it sounds kind of like a church organ, and you can, you know, flip switch things open and close to make different pitches, and you know, it just. And I, I, I'll just bring it in. Yeah, I can't make the noise. Yeah, no, that was that was. Really <laughs> but cool. yeah, it's so peaceful. I love it. I don't keep it in my massage room because it probably gets too cold when I don't run the heat. But. Uh, it's close They made by. it for you. It was like handmade, wasn't yeah. it? Because you got to pick the fabric out on it and everything. Yep. Yeah, yeah I got it on wood? Etsy. That, I think it's mahogany. Yeah, I thought I can't that's what remember. you said it was. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's super cool and probably one of the easier instruments I've bought to play. Yeah. Because I have several <laughs> that I don't even show people. It's not good. But yeah, no, I love the instruments. But you use the singing bowls too, but you have crystal bowls, right? Mm -hmm. That you use. Yeah, and you place the, them on the body too, right? Yeah, the Jupiter is completely different though. Yeah. It just, it has that deep gong. I mean, it resonated my whole, I mean, like the physical. Yeah. I go to Trina too, it. so I've, yeah. I've been getting the bowls like twice now, and Shalane yeah. missed her last appointment. So I'm like, you, did you go yet? Yeah. But yeah, that no, it's, so it's awesome. I just love the way that it vibrates. I think. I start on my back there, so she puts it like on my stomach and mm -hmm. up here. She's mm -hmm. got two different bowls, so we'll have to have her bring one of them in. Yeah, we should do that. And then you have the crystal bowls, though. Do you like? Yeah. How do you decide which bowl to use? Is it just you kind of do the? Because I know when I've gone before, you you'll check my chakras ahead of time, right? Yeah. With the with the pendulum. Yeah. Okay. So that's usually what I do. I see if there's any that aren't very active. And if I find that lately, I'm finding a lot of people with an inactive, like, root sacral area. Mm -hmm. So I'll start with some root and sacral, and then I'll usually, you know, tie the crown in, maybe, you know, hit a few more in the middle, depending what I see, what I'm feeling, yeah. what they, they tell me that they're there for in the first place. Right, because they know. Like, you know, yeah. this is bothering me, or, you know, maybe they've got, you know, some congestion or something. They might just need some, oh, sorry, touch that. Um, you know, heart opening, too. Yeah. So. And do you use, you use some essential oils, too. I know Trina used rosemary. It was, smelled Ooh. so good. Yeah. Like, she put it on my forehead, and then I know you used some, it was it eucalyptus that you used for me to, because um, I was getting a little stuffy when we did I that. think so. It was that, or it was a blend with eucalyptus yeah. and yeah. peppermint and lemon and stuff. Well, but I yeah. love your stuff, so I wanted to actually talk oh. about this, because I, this is, smells amazing, first of all. It's Tighten That Tummy Treatment. So tell everybody, so I'll just read what's in here. Grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, coconut oil, rosehip oil, and essential oils. Now, you don't have to give us away your proprietary blend because it but, says no it doesn't <laughs> no okay. but you don't have it to tell is. us exactly what essential oils are in here are in here but i love the smell of this and it's yeah. like dark and just super potent that's the, that's the rose and i just rub it all over my stomach dark because that's it's oh the rose hip. rose oil yeah the rose hip oil um it, it's just very good for the skin open it up so i can smell it actually tightening Boosting circulation, boosting collagen. There's mm -hmm. just so, you know, I did so much research. Most of these I created for myself. I was just like, oh, I want something that does this. I want something for cellulite. I want a foot scrub or Yeah, whatever. let's be honest. This doesn't go just on the tummy. I put this Where like all over my it? whole body. Oh, you do? <laughs> yes. I have my cellulite I oil and then I do it. just put that there and then, you know, maybe on my chest. So when they come <clears throat> see you, they can... Actually, don't you have an Etsy shop, too? I do. You do. Okay, what is it? It's called Goodies for the Gods. Goodies for the Gods. We should post it in the website. Or yeah, in the, we can do that. Definitely. Because you should... And she has them at Roots Yoga. You can get them. Mm -mm. No, not anymore at Roots? Oh, okay. It was never there. Oh, it was never there? Where no. was it? Um, it was at the Yoga Shala. Oh, Yoga Shala. Is, but not anymore? No. Oh, okay. So they just have to get it online. Or, or come see you. Or come see me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love you can this. Mail them if you're far away. Wait, what was some of the smell in this one? I don't know if I want to say. Just tell us one thing. I want to say there was sandalwood in this. Yeah, one. smells like it. It's been a while mm. since I looked at my recipe book. Yeah, I love this one. This is great. Do you have a lot in stock? How much are they? Those are, I think they're 20. Are they? Okay. I know I charged you 20. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so 
but discount. yeah, Bestie no, discount. I, no, <laughs> no, it's it's fun to make things for myself instead of just go buy something with chemicals at the store. Yeah, or totally. I love trying other people's homemade products. You know, too. I didn't know Kelly Marafa. She yeah, has... she's the one with stuff at Colleen's. Okay, she has stuff mm -hmm. at Colleen's. She's got. A, I think she's got a lot of facial stuff too. Yeah, I don't make facial stuff, mm -hmm. but. She gave me a I sample, actually, when I went to the spooky yeah. um, yoga she, that she had. Yeah. So Kelly should be having one in December, a cacao, I would imagine. Yeah. I don't there's, think there's we one, have a date yet. one this Sunday, but you guys won't, you know, know and about it And every Sunday at Nama Let It Go, too. So it's yeah. different um, types mat of yoga. things. Different types of mat yoga. Yeah, yeah. I went to her spooky one. She's such a great teacher. Yeah. Like, she's so good at, like, the verbal cues, and I was just, like, really loving it. So, I know. I didn't think, oh, tomorrow's Friday, so hopefully I can get over to Yeah, Colleen. Shalane's off a day. I know. I know. I'm wicked off a I'm day. To roots. Yeah, I'm hoping now that cheer's over and football's winding down to, you know, get to more of these Sunday morning events, I yeah. hope. Because I, I usually just drink cacao by myself, wow. which is okay. Why are you laughing? Is that it's your not dating even pitch? <laughs> oh, I just come have to be by myself. Come and drink, drink cacao it. with come me. Drink. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Seriously, um, we, we should start do, like listing. The some problem of that. is no man likes cacao. <laughs> well, you, they like it the way you make it. You put you can put I sweetener make it good. in it. Yeah. Actually, you'll try it. You have to. You oh, have to be make pretty. It next time. Yeah, we can bring cacao. You yeah, have to be pretty special for me to share my cacao. Yeah, it comes all the way from crazy places. Ecuador. Ecuador. Yeah. My favorite one's from Ecuador, and it's little chips. And, You've been eating them, and I've been eating them because I'm on this like really strict diet for this parasite cleanse. So there's like no grains, no dairy, basically just like meat, avocados, cooked vegetables only, not raw. Um, oh, but you she, said, cacao. she said cacao was okay, so, you know, I'm just snacking on cacao when I need to, like, eat anything. <laughs> Sometimes, I'm, you know, I'm bouncing from, like, one thing to a client to this and that, and I'm like, I, I have to put food in my body, something quick. At least it's, like, fatty, so I'm I getting energy. Butter, like, out of the it, yeah, I can't have anything nut-based, seed-based, none of that right now either, so. <clears throat> but, yeah. You know, I love the, the peanut butter from North Star. They make their own there. Did you know that at North Star Orchard? Yeah, wow. the honey one, all natural honey. Just tablespoons of it. <laughs> all right, let's pick a card, D. Let's. Last time we now I'm thinking this. about peanut butter. I know. Thank I'm you. so sorry because I went to that New Mexican place too on Ariscany Boulevard. <laughs> Look at her. She's just gonna keep going. Yeah, I have leftovers. <laughs> I know too. the burrito was the good. The burrito I was good. I know. Don't be mad. <laughs> no, I'm good. I know. I'm, I'm finding ways to enjoy my food I'm, now. I screwed these all up. Like, I shuffled them, and I think there's one upside. Oh, there it is. No alcohol. I haven't had a drink, I think, since July between yeah, there's my no... dieta and this. I don't really care. Yeah, I, really. It gives me heartburn, so yeah, it's not even it, worth, it. Not worth and it. And I get up at 5 in the morning, That's so why where am I going? gong and gather on Friday nights. Like, come get yeah. gonged. Instead of every, so it's like going to be every other Friday for sure. You guys are just I mean, kind of yeah. like right. picking. Yeah, we'll do two Fridays of probably awesome. a month. I don't know That'll if it'll be, be the same two or whatever, but yeah. yeah, Friday nights are great. I mean, it's That's only an hour exciting. and 15 minutes, and yeah. I got great feedback even the first time right out the gate. They I were heard. Like so happy. I was at a football game, so I missed it, yeah. but boy, they were happy. Yeah, that and then, they were there. Yeah, so Trina's getting her first. Um, I'm doing my first. Uh, one on one with Trina this weekend, so I'll, I'll report back on how it went. I'm going to her actual place to do it. So. Oh, that'll be nice. All right, pick a card, any card, Dina, and I'll All read right. it. Just that one today. The Seven of Wands, Eternal Light Mushroom. Seven of Wands. It was an upright. Dina Lux Eterna. Yes, it was. Okay. It's very cool. It's glowing in the dark. Oh, that's really cool. Eternal Light Mushroom. This card shows your strength. You've completed your goal with flair. Constant criticism can make you feel tiny and hollow, but like the eternal light mushroom, you should glow with pride. You've come so far. Boom. Boom. All right. Upright, it means endurance, advocacy, and self-confidence. Defined. Oh, defined. Defend. Defend your position. Keep glowing brightly and speak up for those who may need advocacy. Guide others with your illuminating self-confidence and know that those who love you also support that radiance. Okay. That's Sagittarius energy. Yeah, it is. 
Okay, well, I think we can end with that. Stand up for the man. Yeah, so we'll be back again in a couple weeks. Like I said, thank you so much to our sponsor. Yes. Now we'll let it go. We love you, Allison. Fit Body Boot Camp is coming up, actually. So you're going to meet Lisa here in a couple minutes, which is going to be super cool. I'm really excited to talk to her. I know, me too. I haven't met her before, so yeah. I'm excited to hear about this yeah. and uh, maybe change a little bit of my fitness That would be a fun thing to regimen. sprinkle in, the boot camp. I know? think so, especially yeah. it's 30 minutes. It's, you know, probably like 10 minutes from my house. Yeah. And uh, I don't have to, you know, when I go to the gym, it's like, all right, now I got to think about what I'm going to do. And hope that somebody's not on the machine that I want or sneaks in and takes no. it while I'm supersetting because yeah. I do that. Yeah. Oh, so, really? <clears throat> they have no just idea. I stand over it. Well, I'm on another machine <laughs> doing more shit. Oh, you are? Yes, oh, I go back and forth okay. because I can't sit still. Sometimes when I superset, I'll just do all three like, yeah. sets at once instead of yeah. switching between two things or whatever. Yeah. But anyway. So, we, yeah, we love Lisa. We're super excited to have her on as a sponsor, uh -huh. too. And then we got Renovatio back again. So, round two for them. We're super excited to have them on for thanks, a sponsor, Andrea. too. Yeah, thanks, Andrea. All right. And thank well, you, Z. Yeah, thanks, Disruption Network. We couldn't do this without you guys, and we love it here. It's so much fun. We get to have, a, like, a little party at the I Disruption know. It's Network. always a party. Come down and hang out with us. Yeah, we should. We should post a little uh, when we're going to do it. Pop-up. Pop-up yeah. hangout. That yeah. disruption. <laughs> we'll have to have the password, though. You have to DM me for the passcode. They always look like they're closed. Yeah, like, exactly. If you can find fooled. it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again, and we'll see you guys very soon. All right. Hey everybody, we're here and we have a special guest with us today. We have Lisa Briggs here with uh, Whitesboro Fit Body Boot Camp and she's one of our newest sponsors on the podcast. So she's really helping us out, giving us some ability to, you know, do some more episodes and we wanted to have her on because you have some really exciting stuff going on. Huh? Thank you so much. I'm just so glad Welcome. that I'm here today. <laughs> um, yeah, we have a lot going on. So... So yeah. why don't you start with like a quick like what you love about Fit Body and like the program because I know it's like a franchise but it's just you are doing it in Whitesboro and then you have something coming up in a new location too, yes, right? Yes, yes. So I started um, my business about six years ago and I did it because I went through my own journey, mm -hmm. went through my own transformation and so it just came down to the point where I wanted to help other people get healthy and strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I love that it's like, so it's high intensity interval high intensity. training, right? Mm -hmm. So I've done some of that before too. Yeah. And I can definitely relate to that. And I'm sure Dina can too, because we're both like oh, yeah. into fitness <laughs> yeah. and wellness and stuff yeah. like that. And um, yeah, like gaining muscle and like, it's really like completely changed my metabolism. Yes. Now. So the yeah. 30 minute workouts, mm -hmm. a lot of people think that, you know, you have to go to the gym for two hours, two, three hours to get results. And it's really not true. Right. It's actually doing more damage to your body. So the 30 minute workouts, um, a good balance of strength and cardio. Awesome. Yeah, I yeah. love that. And that's doable to fit yes. into a schedule. You yes. can't spend, you know, in our crazy lives, two hours a day sure. at the gym. But have, I used to be that person. And <laughs> yeah. It's hard. Yeah. It is hard. And it's, so and you have them early in the morning, too, like right first yeah, thing, right? Yeah, we have nine classes a day. Oh, wow. So starting at 5.15. Okay. Yep, we pawn wow. them out 30 And minutes. that's the one you teach, right? The 515? So I do 515, 6 yeah. a.m. Okay, yeah, so if we want to get like, our butt kicked, we come to the 515? That's right. That's right. <laughs> so is it every 45 minutes throughout the day yes. that you, they start another class? Yes, yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you have like Exciting. lots of instructors that do it, and you like train them, or like yeah, we have a work? whole certification that oh, we put awesome. all of our trainers through. Um, and actually, like all of my coaches have been previous clients. Because um, oh, awesome. it's really important that they believe in the mission and believe in, you know, the culture mm -hmm. and give back to the community. And um, that's what set, sets us different from, like, any other gym yeah. is just the culture. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I okay. love that. So say me and Shalane want to come in, you know, give it a whirl yeah. and go live from. Yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Afterwards, <laughs> after we've done it. Yeah. <laughs> what would we expect in a typical class? So what we do is, um, well, we offer three free classes, oh, yeah. and before we jump you right in, we kind of get to know your background. Mm -hmm. So 
we're actually all personal trainers, so we want to make sure that we're giving you the best workout for you because mm -hmm. everybody is different. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to coach everybody the same way. So we have to kind of, you know, get to know who you are, get to know what your goals are, get to know like what your fitness level is. Mm -hmm. So when you're out on the floor, um, we can coach you appropriately. That's awesome. I yeah. love that it's customized to yeah. your yeah. personal journey because some people might just want to like switch it up. Like I get kind of bored doing the same sure. thing all the time. And, yeah. You know, just maybe you're already Absolutely. fit, right? And yeah. you're like kind of already in the game, but you want to try something new. Yeah. You would probably coach them differently than somebody that's just starting out fresh on exactly. their journey. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And have that fun. Yeah, I love that you're offering three classes because that's like a good amount to kind of like get your bearings and, yep. like, you know, get your nerve up to even go yes. because, you know, yes. it is a lot to like throw yourself into something new. Yeah. And the hardest part is walking through the door. Yeah. That's the hardest part. Yeah. So if you want to check it out, we definitely been, we've been, um, you know, sharing it and you can just sign yeah. up right on your website, right? Yeah. Awesome. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Um, what else was I I getting? wanted to ask her about the nutrition because I, that's oh, like one is. of the biggest challenges for me is yeah. like, you know, I'm working out regularly, doing a lot of yoga, yeah. but it's hard for me to stay consistent with my diet. And there's so many programs out there. Mm -hmm. So so it's like, what do you believe? What do you trust? Um, our fitness formula and our nutrition formula is amazing. So we kind of customize it. So whatever works for you. We have meal plans. We have um, a macro-based formula that we use. Um, we have calorie counting. So, you know, oh, wow. it's basically whatever works for you. So like for someone like me, yeah. and I'm kind of like at the point where like, you know, I don't have to lose a lot of weight, you know, yeah. like what, and, but I wanted, there were some, you know, a little bit more Then that would be like more of like a fat burning or like, what I would, would think you more do? macros, macros. macros. Yeah. It's all about balance. Mm -hmm. And as we get older too, women, especially like yeah. hormones have a big, huge effect too with, with weight loss. Oh, so we dive yeah. into hormone therapy it a little does. bit. Oh, awesome. Um, yeah. And then like also probably working into the fact that like, you know, sometimes the parts of the month we're just like, I'm like gung yep. ho. I mean, my like, oh, you know, yeah. my workout's like po yeah. on point. I'm like doing an extra like 15 mm -hmm. minutes. I'm doing heavier weights. You yeah. know what I mean? And I'm feeling like really like in tune with that. And then yeah. other times I'm like, you know, maybe a little yin yoga might be nice for me today. Yeah, so it's, it's nice finding that, a balance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. So do you want to tell us about your new location? Because I would love I know to. You it, but you're in Whitestown Plaza. <laughs> yes. And you ha and it's like an open space. Like you kind of walk in and it's like you have like a locker room where people can change and all so, that. So, yep, it's a pretty big space. It's about 4,800 square feet. Okay. Um, wide open. We have not locker rooms, but we have a couple changing rooms oh, okay. and bathrooms. We don't yeah. have any showers because you're in and out. 30 right, right. Minutes 30 minutes fast. is so fast. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and so we do like a five minute warm up. So we, you know, warm up together and demo all the exercises, and then we demo like modifications and adjustments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we do a 20 minute hit. Okay. So it's real fast. So you know all the mo movements ahead of time. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then there's somebody kind of coming around, like coaching you yes. if you need additional assistance. Yes. Gotcha. And then okay. we make sure we cool you down because it's really important because we're going to really get that heart rate up there in mm -hmm. that fat burning zone. Mm -hmm. So it's so super important to bring that um, heart rate down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what is that like zone for the heart rate? Yeah, that you so want to get to. Yep. Like, so it's kind of like, um, so it's that high intense interval training. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is get your heart rate up into that fat burning zone and then come down into that active rest. Gotcha. So you'll do 30 seconds of high intense high and then come or back like down. That, or, yep. For okay. a 10 second break. Okay, gotcha. Yep. So that's what speeds up your metabolism. That's what burns body fat. And our program actually works two times faster than any other program. Yeah. I did something wow. similar with like body. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like something like that. That yeah. was what I started I hate out with cardio. Too. Like I'll, I'll be Marco I can do Poland, 30 seconds of cardio. Right. Because I'm so bored. But yeah. You know, yeah. I don't want to see the headlines. Cardio. <laughs> yeah. But we make it fun. Yeah. yeah that's that sounds fun. way yeah. more fun. Is, is nothing. You know, I mean, that's yeah. like two, you know, no time. And yeah. so how many times a week do you, like, expect people to, yeah. or do you recommend? Do you, like, so three times, three times? at least okay. three times, okay. yep. So when my clients first come in, I recommend three times. Um, and then it becomes kind of like a little bit an addiction. Yeah, addiction. especially in the beginning, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're yeah, starting yeah. to see results so quickly, you're like, I love well, this. Well, you just feel good. The endorphins yeah. are flying. Yeah, yeah, um, totally. And, you know, you feel so good. You have so much energy after these workouts, it's yeah. incredible. And that's why I love to like have people come first thing in the morning because it sets you up for the rest of the so day. Great. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so back to the location. Oh, back to Clinton, yes. yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so in my vision, it, you know, I just want to provide space um, for as many people as I can. Mm -hmm. And with Whitesboro, we are just like knocking down walls. We're just like bursting at the seams. Mm -hmm. So it was time. It was time to just find another space. And so Clinton is it, um, hopefully in January. 
we you have our okay sighting. We'll keep both locations. So, so where and go back where and forth. Clinton and will you be? So right across from the school. Okay. So on Shenango Ave. All right. Yeah. 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 So yep. you're right by Mons too. Yeah. Yeah, nice. and then also um, it's going to be a little bit bigger than Whitesboro, so it'll be about 5,000 square feet. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's just I want to provide space for, for people to come and just, you know, be vulnerable and just get healthy right. and strong. It's so great. Yeah. And it's probably a community of people that, like, they probably come together to classes and do they coordinate, like, hey, I'm going to the Exactly. Accountability, class, support, and, and motivation is right. what we're, you know, known for. I and mean, we have great workouts. We have a great nutrition program. But, you know, if you need help with motivation, if you need help with accountability and support, um, you know, that's what we're really about. Yeah, that's great. That is so important because I know I needed an accountability person, too, yeah. when I was, like, really – yeah. In yeah. Everybody mode. does. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, you know, when you first start out, you're kind of motivated, but then that motivation kind of dies down and then you have to go back to your commitment. So we really dive deep into like, um, you know, not only physically transformations, but mentally, spiritually and emotionally as well. Yeah, yeah. Because when you go through a transformation, you're not only changing your body physically, you're changing, you're creating the very best version of you. Right. So like you're, you know, the version of you creating a new identity. And it's scary for people sometimes it because is. you're so you know comfortable with your survival personality. Mm -hmm. But then so many people are kind of like, I'm not happy, I'm depressed, I'm going through all of this you know drama in my life because they're not really living authentically. And so we do a lot of, a lot of mindset coaching as well. I love that. That is so, so important. Yeah, yeah. it really is. It yeah. really is. And like, who knows like what kind of environment, you know, like if yeah. everybody, you know, so you have to make a choice sometimes, right? Like sometimes the people that you're living with or the people that are in your close, you know, proximity yeah. aren't making those types of changes, but you still want to. Yeah. It's great to be able to find that kind of support in a group. So true. Too. Well, yeah. it probably helps them to stay on track and keep coming back too yes. if they have somebody to talk to. You know, if you yeah. walk into a regular gym and nobody cares if you're there or it's not true. it's like all right well I'm just not gonna go yeah. <laughs> nobody will notice <laughs> and I really believe like energy is everything yeah um, so we really you know keep an upbeat atmosphere and you know because the world is a tough place that's what it we is love to bring people in like you place. and all the different type because everything you know everybody has a different thing right yeah it could be yoga for one person it could yeah. be you know uh Tai Chi, it could be, you know, weightlifting. There's yeah. just uh, so many options and just to try out some different alternatives yeah. and then, you know, just bring the awareness to people that That's there's, true. this is an alternative yeah. too. This is an option. Yeah. You, know? you can yeah. sneak and do this on your lunch hour. It's like so fast. 30 minutes. Is yeah, enough, we do have a lunch hour session. <laughs> I see. My staff <laughs> works on busy. Clinton, it's I'll a hot session. Them. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Do yeah. you have it? Yeah, so, so what happens? Do they off. sign up ahead of time? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So you can sign up ahead of time or just, you know, walk in. Okay. Yep. So you just accommodate as many people as you can. Do you we ever do. have to turn anyone away or no? Um, let's see. In the six years I've been open, I had to turn one person away. And that was it. Just because, you know, I, I'm just really in tune with people's energies. Yeah, yeah. And she just was bringing in the, this toxicity that, oh, okay. you know, I didn't want in my, in my jam. Yeah. And so, right. you know, she was fine. And, and, you know, we want to just empower. Right, And right. just inspire. Yeah. But size-wise, like in the space, you can fit like a ton of people. Oh, yeah. We have 50 yeah. people in a class. Oh, awesome. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. That's yeah. got to be some high energy. <laughs> so yeah. you don't have to like sign up ahead of time to make sure you're you do. getting a space. Um, you know, with COVID, uh, we had to have everybody register yeah. ahead of time. But now, um, you know, it does help with accountability, too. So I have all of my clients sign up ahead of time. Yeah. So it kind of subconsciously already commits to your session. Mm -hmm. um, but then sometimes it's like, hey, I want to hit a new class or... You know, I need that yeah. burst of energy, so I'm gonna go yeah. to Fit Body and grab my 30 minutes. Yeah. So they get the three free. Yeah. Do you want to talk a little bit more about some like options that they have for packages or like yeah. how that works? Like if you're like, okay, I tried the three out and I'm like, yes. I want to commit. I love the three free because mm -hmm. you have to try something before you buy into it, right? right. Mm -hmm. So um, after the three free, we have a promotion for 28 days. So if you need just a little bit more time to kind of meet all the coaches and to kind of, you know, get into the habit of, of working out because it takes like 21 days to create that habit. Yeah. Um, we have a 28 day for $57. Okay. Oh, that's it? Yeah. 57. Nice. Yeah, yeah that's good. And you can come yeah. unlimited? Right. So it's 28 days. So you start. Oh, so, oh, okay. Yep. So it's just 28 days after you start. Um, so 28 sessions? Nope. Like, so okay. 28, 28 days. days. So okay. how so many like times nine? you come in within that 28 right. days? 
Okay, so you can come in as many times as you want in 28 days. Yes. Okay, that's a yes. great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Plenty. Yeah, so what do you really... suggest they do on the off days if they came the three times a week? So definitely walk. Mm -hmm. um, for stretching. sure, stretching, stretching, stretching. Yeah. Um, I cannot emphasize that enough. Mm -hmm. um, we just don't stretch enough. And so when you're working out, if you don't have that range of motion, you just don't get a I'm, I'm a massage okay. therapist, oh, so I know, those, I know the, all of those people. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so supplementing so with like a yoga class or some sort of recovery. Yeah. And right? we had yoga on Sundays. Oh, you do? Yeah, oh, we nice. provide wow. yoga for our clients. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. And that counts as like one of their. They can come in in the yeah. twenty-eight days and take that yeah. yoga class. Yeah. That is great. I didn't realize there was so much going on over there. It's just that uh, you come in, you do. So what kind of equipment do you incorporate into your regular workouts? Yeah. So we don't have any heavy equipment. Mm -hmm. So we have, you know, your dumbbells, kettlebells, battle ropes. We have punching mm -hmm. bags. Um, we have the TRX. Um, we do a lot of band work, yeah, too. Yeah, I was wondering. I love the band. Yeah. That stuff is on point. I mean, you don't have to do much. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just using yeah. my band, like, yeah. ah, That's you know, all you need. pulling it back. You know it's what I mean? Just need if resistance. you need a quick one and you don't yeah. want to go, you know, I don't feel like going downstairs to the gym, I'll yeah. just grab some, like, little dumbbells yeah. and... Yeah, you know, band work is quick, amazing. Quick. Yeah. And it's so important to keep that strength training up. Mm. Um, I did CrossFit for a long time, and it, it's great, but it depends on what your goals are. Right. And so... You know, people, um, women, especially like, you know, our age are getting older. So it's just so important that we keep that strength training up. Oh, it's so important. Yeah. I mean, because I like, what it. if you get hurt or you have to have a surgery? I yeah. Mean, the recovery on that, if you don't have any muscle at yeah. all, is just so difficult. It's you so know, true. especially for, if you know, if you're having any sort of abdominal yeah. things. Or, yeah. You know, keeping your core. Yeah. And know, we're strong. so, so, a very important thing about us is that we, pro we, do everything we can to prevent injury. Mm. So, um, you know, safety first, yeah. definitely safety first. Yeah. So, you know, we have a floor coach, you know, on the floor, and then we also have a mic coach. So there's two coaches on the floor at all times. Um, so you like wear like a headset? Oh yeah, we wear a headset, oh, like Britney Spears. Oh, <laughs> God, it's so fun. Yeah. And we just blare the radio and, you know, we just have a great time. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get over there and take a class for yeah. sure. Okay, we'll plan on it yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. Dina, any other questions you had for Lisa? While we have her, <laughs> I just love it. I think it's great that you're expanding. We love having women business owners online because, I mean, coming into, you know, our podcast because, yeah. you know, you're not only balancing, I mean, let's just talk about the mental health yeah. aspect of a 30 minute workout that is just for you. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no kids. Your husband it's is at true. home. Your significant other work is gone. Yes. I mean, it's literally, you know, so important it for is. just at balancing everything yeah and it's it's so hard for women especially mm -hmm. to kind of put them first so yeah. we always do like a focus of the week as well um back to that whole mindset coaching mm -hmm. so our focus this week is um you know we're in november so we're giving thanks with thanksgiving and so mm -hmm. um but i'm having all of my clients think themselves first and they're like what do you mean like thank myself for what like thank yourself for getting up on time thank yeah. yourself for you know, doing what you say you're going to do. Right. Um, get to know your yourself. Body. It's that like, self-love. Yeah, like, yes. thank you, knees, yes. for doing all the right. things. You know, like, I spend a lot of time just being like, wow. Yeah. Like, I know when That's I lay down at night, I'm like, thank you for letting me do all the things that I was able and capable of doing right. today, you know, That's or right. not having an injury or, you know, just your health yeah. in general. I mean, it's so, and then, like, I think it really impacts, like, how your body responds. Like, I think oh, I gosh. have a lot of... Alignment. Yeah, I mean, it's an energetic thing. You know, it yes, is, I did the is. physical stuff. Yes, I changed my diet. But the self-love, like, just, like, spending time yep. with myself and being like, yeah, these are the parts of myself that I don't like, quote, unquote, and then just extra love there. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. nice lotion, you know, or, like, body oil or, you know, like, yeah. just loving that part Anything of yourself. Anything you can do to take yeah. care of yourself or, you know, I find that I'm beating myself up. Oh, I didn't do all these things that I planned to do today. But then I'm like, wait a minute. Here's all the things you did do. That's right. And then if they could say, oh, I got my workout in, then they're not beating themselves up about that, which is so important. So I love to say where the focus goes, the energy flows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we so focus on like what we don't have, what we're not doing, um, looking in the mirror and what we don't like about ourselves. So I'm really trying to like, you know, change, you know, my clients' mindsets to like, you know, when they're brushing their teeth, like talking to themselves, like, yeah, I'm awesome. Yeah, I'm totally awesome. putting that music on. <laughs> music like, I totally and, like, get all contact. Yeah, yeah. They're like, Lisa, why do you want to, what, what? 
<laughs> yeah. It's getting no, out of that comfort so zone. it's so true, though. I mean, it really is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love yeah. that. And then we also have um, a Fit Body Forever class. So okay. it's for 55 and older. Oh, yeah, nice. so we just started that program in June. Okay. And it's taking off, and oh my gosh, like our older adults that come in, yeah. they're just like, we want to be able to play with our grandkids. We want to um, be able to carry in our own groceries. And so within cute. weeks, they're building that strength and confidence because yeah. confidence goes so far. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's I have the best job in the world coaching my clients and just helping them create their their best versions of themselves, no matter what age you are. Yeah. yeah. Sounds yeah. awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. So, Lisa, any departing words you want to give us? I mean, obviously, you know, we, we back to the you're a busy woman, right? Like, do you have any, like, words of wisdom for women that want to just, like, you know, branch out, maybe become an entrepreneur or they have these dreams, they have, oh, like, these gosh. aspirations, you know, beyond just the fitness, you know, yeah. part of it? Because, I mean, look at what you've been able to accomplish, you know? I mean, I and you have, like, young kids, right? Yeah. And I do, too, and so does Dina. And yeah. it's just this, like, energy we're trying to bring to the table, you know, like, what would you say to somebody that was like wanting to embark on like a new just go for journey? it yeah you know just go for it and don't let fear stop you I think fear just you know stops people in their tracks because they're afraid of the what ifs mm -hmm. but focus on what if you didn't right what if you didn't take that risk mm -hmm. I took a risk mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. six years ago yeah. and I'll tell you I it was the best thing I ever did. Yeah. And it was the scariest thing. But if it doesn't scare you, then, you yeah, know. Right. Um, How exciting, it, though, right? Yeah. It keeps you invigorated, right? Especially yeah, when no, you're doing something for yourself. You're not constantly doing something for the kids, the things, you know. Yeah. And it's like something that you're accomplishing on your own and you're seeing results. Like, and congratulations. And you feel it. That's Thank awesome. you so much. Yeah. And, you know, I just, I was happy. I was always a happy person. But I something inside me I just wasn't fulfilled yeah. so there's a difference between being happy and being fulfilled mm -hmm. so um, you know there's just two different you know aspects to that and you have to find your purpose you have to find fulfillment whatever that is it's mm -hmm. in your gut all I can say is trust it and go for it much for yeah. coming on You're welcome. thank you um where can people reach you is it uh and we have the website we put it on we'll put it on the podcast and okay everything. but if they wanted to reach out they can email you if they have questions can yeah. they call the, yes. the studio yeah you can okay. just find us on google um whitesboro fit body you can mm -hmm. find me on facebook instagram awesome. all the social networks yeah and we'll share all of that good yeah. yes all right well yeah, thank you we're again excited for coming. Oh my God, thank you'll be you. seeing us awesome. thank you so much it's so fun thank you